What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite action figure review on the ringside exclusive NWO Wolfpack or NWO Elite Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure. Now, this is ringside exclusive, so if you guys do want this, you are going to have to go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Very nice right here. Honestly, I'm glad they got rid of the window. I don't know about you guys. I think this is a lot more just fresh. I think that without having to open up the box and, you know, reveal the figure to us, I don't know. It's just more aesthetically pleasing. What do you guys think? I, I like the no window or the no. There's a window, of course. There's no folding door plastic pieces. I think that it allows for more like decor and like deco and graphics and stuff. But I actually like this a lot. I like how, how clean this is. It feels just snug in the hand and then I could just like punt it across the yard. You know what I mean? So this is really nice. Got the image and the viewing window of Hogan here. Ring set exclusive logo here. Hollywood Hulk Hogan down here. WWE logo. You do have the Wolfpack logo. NWO up top. Mattel over here. Beautiful shot of Hogan here. WWE Elite logo. Another shot of Hogan on the back here. And they've done it yet again. I mean, just classic Mattel, bro. They edited this photo, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure on the back of this packaging, the NWO right here is actually split in half. Half white, half wolf pack. And then they cut off the knee pads so you can't see that they're the solid black with white outline bike knee pads. I see you, Mattel. You ain't slick, bro. I see you. I definitely see you. On the other side you do have a shot of Hogan here oh look the knee pads are exposed. Hate to see it. Now, I'm pretty sure he, he wore both. Like, he had two different versions, I'm pretty sure. But in this specific photo, the changes are, are apparent. But down here, long bio read. Kind of hard to read it, to be honest with you. NWO Elite. If you guys would like to read it, you can do so right now. But anyways, man, let's crack Hollywood Hulk Hogan or the NWO Wolfpack NWO Elite Hulk Hogan out of his packaging and find out what the hell he's all about. So here's Hulk Hogan out of his packaging, spinning round and round with his world championship, of course. And I mean, this is an exclusive. We do have a couple new things going on with this figure that I do want to give to you because I think it's actually pretty crucial to your collections, especially if you're a Hulk Hogan collector. Now, I'm sure we'll probably get it down the line, but I do want to mention it and get into those things. But we do have NWO Elite. Is that what I need to call him? I don't know. NWO Wolfpack Hogan, NWO Elite Hogan. But aesthetically, this figure looks pretty cool. And we are going to break down everything, man. So with that being said, let's get into Hulk Hogan's accessories then we'll dive into Hulk Hogan himself and take a look at what other comparisons we can see. So before we get into his accessories, I guess this should be included. The trifold background is still included, even though the little open-up window on the front of the packaging is not. These ringside exclusives have been coming with these for a while now, especially in the last couple years or so. And it's just the WCW Monday Night Nitro stage entrance right here, which is pretty cool. You know, I think it makes for a pretty cool background for your display or for your, you know, your, your shelves and things like that. I think this could work. I think it's pretty cool. You know, nothing on the back or anything. But if you want to put some guys up there and have a little cool diorama background piece, I think it works. But I think it should be included in the portion of the video. You do get this as it is a part of the figure when you purchase it from Ringside Collectibles. So getting into Hollywood Hulk Hogan's accessories, you get a plethora of stuff. You know, uh, Hulk Hogan's very toyetic, not just because of the pythons and the handsomeness and the beard. He's got a lot of stuff going on, man. Let's get into the NWR World Championship. Now, I don't think I have my other version right here with me, but it does seem to be different. It looks to be pretty accurate to the, the finger poke of Doom Knight when they sprayed the championship after Goldberg got attacked, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure it looks just like, or it's very similar. I, I played it back and it looks similar. One thing I'm also excited about is they actually got all of the red dots on the main plate. They just forgot them on the side plate like they always do. They never include the red dots and the jewels on the side plates. And these are actually pretty damn fat compared to the rest of how it's looked before. But you know what, Brad? There's also a damn WWE scratch logo on it. But yeah, Next up, we also have his weight belt accessory now. We've never seen this one in the line. Pretty sure this is the same mold we always get for it. I know a lot of people go crazy over the weight belt molds, but it's got the frosty Hollywood logo there. Do not know if it's accurate or not. Gonna need some Hollywood Hulk Hogan connoisseurs down in the comment section below to let me know if it's accurate or not. But you do get the weight belt, inaccurate or not. You also get the NWO headband, which we've discussed. It's got the NWO logo on there. You got this nice little uh, flame style logo going around. This actually is a new band bandana mold if you guys were unaware it is different it's actually not the same as we've seen before like this is the ultimate edition one i'm not sure if we've seen this in the line before but it is different than the ultimate edition one like the traditional like bandana style that we saw here it's actually like the skull cap sort of style there with the nw logo on the back pretty cool there actually pretty detailed it's got a nice sculpt to it you know everything like that here's comparing the two so that's pretty cool that you get a new mold there but it looks clean it's just uh you know uh, i'm sure we'll see plenty of these in the future at some point we also get some cloth goods the nw 
NWO Wolfpack style shirt here. Now we've seen this with quite a few people. I'm pretty sure we got this with the legend Scott Hall. We got this with Lex Luger coming up. I think that's the only two figures, but this is the third time we're seeing this. So, you know, plenty of Wolfpack shirts. I'm sure we'll probably, you know, in the future get even more and more and more and venture out. You know, we got to fill out that stuff, even though it's convoluted and as crazy as the members and the adding and the subtracting and the heel turns and all the stuff is. You do get a nice cloth accessory. You also get his white sunglasses. And for his white sunglasses, it still doesn't go on the figure. It's the same as the Ultimate Edition because the head sculpt is the same and the sunglasses are the same. They will fall off. Like, uh, you know, you put this on, put the sunglasses on there, and then you try to put this on there. You know, they don't stay on completely. Like, it's not horrific. I'd say that this bandana mold is better compared to leaving the glasses on the head sculpt, but it still falls off. You know, it's not like completely snug and secure, but uh, it is better than the Ultimate Edition. And then for interchangeable hands, you get two sets of new hands. I'm pretty sure these are new, or at least we have not seen them with Hogan just yet. You have the fingerless glove mold, and the hands are actually sculpted. Like, you actually have the sculpted holes. You actually have the fingerless sculpted gloves on there. So, if you want these for your Hogans, you are going to have to get this figure at least, because this is not what we got with the Ultimate Edition and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure these are a new mold. And then you, I know these are new, or at least I'm pretty sure. You have the two sweet Hulk Hogan gloved hands with the fingerless gloves on there. So, these are really nice as well. I like the sculpt. I like the paint color. I think they look good. They look really good, and they actually gave him skin tone pegs, which are accurate. So, you have the strap across the back, and then you have the fingerless gloves, and then you have the skin tone peg, which is very, very nice. One thing that does suck, though, is they're pretty loose in the figure. When you plug them into the figure, they're loose, which is unfortunate. So, getting into the head sculpt, this is the same head sculpt we saw with the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan that we saw, the Hollywood Hulk Hogan, of course. Same yelling expression. I like this head sculpt. I think it works well for him. Of course, he doesn't have the, the super dark tan or the super, like, specific skin tone that we've seen from, you know, some of the Ultimate Editions as of late and some of the ones we're going to be getting in the future. However, I don't hate this head scan for Hogan, to be honest with you. I think it could saturate it more, but it's not like a devastating killer. I know when you put them up next to each other, it is a bit different there, but you know, it is what it is. You guys can let me know what you think down below. Going down this torso, man, do not like it for Hogan. I think that the Ultimate Edition torso or the Elite 34 torso is a lot better, to be honest with you. Honestly, the Elite 34 is my favorite one, I think, for him. Just remove the tattoo and throw it on there, man. Change up the formula. Whatever we gotta do to make it happen, make it happen, but these shoulders and arms work good for Hulk Hogan. You got the white wrist tape. One thing that I do like about this torso with these shoulders is just that it can't get loose. It's unable to get loose, but at the same time, it can be too tight, so that's sort of like the give and take of it there, but you go down into the pants. Not a lot of details. It literally just looks like a bunch of, like, ghosty stuff going on. It's supposed to be airbrushed white stuff going on on the pants. Like, airbrushed white is kind of what it looks like, and it's supposed to have, like, a lightning storm or, like, some lightning going down the sides, but you don't get that. You also get that random pattern onto the knee pads, which I'm pretty sure, like we addressed, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be black with white outline bike knee pads, which I guess I can fix up, but going down, you do have the NWO logo on the boots, which I really like. This is really clean right there. I like that. And then here are the hands. You guys can see they're a bit loose. I mean, it's not like, I guess it's not like egregious, but it is, uh, it's definitely noticeable and you guys will probably notice that, but that is the figure standing head to toe. The figure is not terrible. I just think that the torso looks weird on here, man. Also, you get that big gap. There's a huge gap between the crotch and the torso because it's supposed to have a bigger torso, I'm pretty sure. So that, that torso is too small. And we're still getting it in the future with the WrestleMania 39 Hulk Hogan coming up, you know, from WrestleMania 18 with The Rock coming out again. But let's get this guy in some accessories and we can do some comparisons. So for your Hulk Hogan figure comparisons, here is the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan, the Elite 91 Hulk Hogan with the exact same formula. And then, of course, the ringside exclusive in the middle. And we also have two more Hulk Hogans on this formula coming later this year in the Elite 101, or I guess it wouldn't be it won't be this year. It'll probably be early next year. Elite 101 Hulk Hogan and the Mr. America. And then you also have the WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 18 Hulk Hogan. And they're all in the same formula. All in the same formula. All recolored. All repaints. All re-releases. You guys know the deal there. Really wish they would change the formula, Brad. Oh, God. Any avid Hulk Hogan... And I'm not even a massive Hulk Hogan fan, but the massive Hulk Hogan fans I know despise these figures with this torso. So, I, I mean, I don't know what, I, what you want me to say, Brad. I don't know what you want me to say, but yeah, I mean, they're virtually all the same. Uh, you guys can see there, this is pinless compared to this, but this one has a better torso. I'll tell you that one. And then for your complete NWO figure comparisons or NWO Wolfpack slash Elite slash, you know, putting them all three together here in the red and black, you have Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. Looking pretty good here, you know. I'm not sure if they all wore this all together at the same exact time, all on television together. Probably not, but I just wanted to give you guys the visual if you guys wanted to see what these looked like 
up next to each other, this is kind of what you get. I, I mean, I think they look good. Even if it's inaccurate, it still looks pretty solid. They mesh well together, especially if you get, you know, these guys in their shirts and stuff like that. Pretty fire. But I think that pretty much wraps up our ringside exclusive NWO Elite Hollywood Hulk Hogan action figure. Overall, I think that, you know, this is uh, one of those nostalgic pieces. I think that it's a nice little repaint of a figure. I would have, I think that, like, some of these subtle things that Mattel decides to leave out of these figures really does harm the figure, I think. I also think they need to fix the god dang torso because it has a lot of different issues with it, not just, you know, shoulder tightness and, and different things like that, but I feel like they could, they could just take these figures to the next level, especially like the things with the knee pads and like these little touches of detail that they miss. Sometimes that can make or break a figure. Not to say that breaks the figure necessarily, but it really keeps it from going over the top, if you will, and I think we have ourselves some surgery we can do on this figure because of that, and I, I just think lack of details and lack of things really hurt this figure, man, so that's that's kind of where I am there, but I think overall it's a solid piece. I, I like Hulk Hogan in WCW. It's a very nostalgic piece for me. Of course, I was very young, but I caught the tail end of it. Not with full understanding of what the hell's taking place, but you get the point. Regardless, if you guys would like to grab this figure, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but Hogan is very toyetic. I think that his figures are nice overall. They have a very great nostalgia to him, which is why I think a lot of people love them, and you guys know that the NWO runs the world, so there you go. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. This shout-out's gonna go to Non-Stop Extreme Wrestling, NEW, playing a game with my seven-year-old son where we watched this video and had to eat an M&M every time you mentioned the head scan. Now we are out of M&Ms and my son is mad. I don't know if that's a legitimate comment or not, or if it was just trolling slash, you know, uh, cracking a joke, but, uh, you know, it got the random shout-out, so I guess that works, but huge shout-out to you, man. Thank you for the comment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day, and I will see you guys next time, and don't cross the line like Hulk Hogan. Alright, we all know about his actions. You cross the line.